Hello, in this video I'll be talking about the different types of new media. Starting with four types of new media, uh, there's websites which are web pages that contain information on them. They're mainly used uh, by like, companies or brands to promote their business and give out information to the customers. There's also social media, like uh, for example like Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. They're mainly used by people to connect to their family and friends. They can also be used by companies and brands to promote their, their uh, brand. There's also blogs, which are websites that are updated often by an individual. They're usually written in a, like an informal way. There's also video games, which are electronically played games. They're either played through computers or a console up to a TV. Because of the internet, there is so much user-generated content. Whether it is a Facebook post, a tweet, a blog, a YouTube video, the amount of user-generated content is insane. While it has only been around since the 1980s, it has made such a huge impact on the media. It's had such a huge impact on media that there are, there are some jobs that can be done completely online now. And now, more than ever, receiving news, Connecting with friends and family, applying for jobs, is so much easier than it used to be. So, why is new media more successful than traditional forms of media? It seems to come down to accessibility. While older forms of media, such as newspapers, magazines, and books, are not as popular as they used to be, they haven't gone anywhere yet. In fact, many old forms of media have been transferred over to the internet, and the main reason why they're doing this is because they need to, as they need to adapt to the changing technology, and they're just not as popular as they used to be. So why has the internet become a primary source of news and info? As stated before, it comes down to accessibility. If you want to hear about the weather, do you really want to go on the news and hear the news anchors talk about COVID-19 non-stop just to, just to hear about the weather? Probably not. At least I don't. I, I avoid the news right now. I mean, I'd rather either search it up on my phone or just look outside, see how the weather is. It's funny how TV and news used to be new forms of media, but now they're being replaced by the internet, which is an even newer form of media. So what are some of the advantages and disadvantages of new media delivery? First off with advantages, it's faster and easier. You can communicate with people across the world. And for some disadvantages, with everyone being connected, it can lead to some privacy issues. Uh, new media develops so quickly that traditional media companies cannot keep up and they suffered because of that. For example, when Napster started to become a thing, it, uh, it allowed people to share free music files online and it hurt uh, physical sales of music such as like CDs and vinyl records. Bands and artists such as like Metallica, they bought Napster eventually it got shut down, and nowadays we're still seeing sort of similar problems with legal services such as iTunes, as they are currently hurting uh, CD and vinyl sales. So what are some popular trends in social networking? Here are two trends that I've noticed. Uh, live videos and stories are becoming more popular now than ever. Live videos are becoming popular on social media, whether it is a charity live stream, or just a content creator communicating to his audience. They are becoming more prevalent on whether it's Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. There's also stories which are getting more popular. Snapchat started the stories craze, but eventually Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube also uh, started offering their own versions of stories. These stories allow people to post a photo or a short video and it would disappear after 24 hours and it's a good way of uh, communicating to your friends or family or if you're a brand or company it's a good way of uh, spreading information about your brand 